Hello and welcome. This is an informal interview with Liz Vance, the founder of The Awake Life. Hello, everyone. Uh, Tamir and I got together on this wonderful Zoom call, and you'll get entertained by the interesting lighting and um, fun energetics that were happening in this call. And we wanted to share it with you because some great topics came up about what the awake, what the awake life is all about and why we're doing it in the first place. So I hope you enjoy this interview. What does it mean to be awake? Awake life is living from our divine essences to really know that we are divine, to know that we are love, that we are light, that we are wisdom, that we are health, body, mind, heart, and spirit, that we are all that is divine. Um, but to know it in a human way, we can say all those words and they all sound wonderful, but how do we apply that energy of love to our human existence, which is stumbly, <laughs> flawed, occasionally graceful, but often not. Um, how do we live in awake life, uh, live in a state of divinity and honor our humanness along the way and be awake full body in our human self? And so, yeah, this is the awake life. And uh, it's uh, about feeling inspired uh, even if we're in the deepest trouble, the deepest challenging moment in our lives that we still know that we have divinity within us and everything that we do and everything that we are in this life. And so, um, yeah, the awake life is living a divine self in human form and honoring the imperfections <laughs> and the inspiration of both. So that's, that's the awake life. So what kinds of questions do people ask on these calls? It can be anything from personal questions. There's always a universal message. So uh, occasionally people will ask something really deeply personal, which I always find um, so brave and courageous and kind of powerfully mm, awake ultimately. Um, and then some people ask more kind of broad questions around the topic that we're talking about. But, and of course there's everywhere in between, um, but it's uh, energy where we're here to honor what it, uh, you said something earlier, meet people where they're at um, and in that meeting, find divine guidance, divine insight. Uh, what I do is bring in all the guidance and light and uh, energy that I can and get out of the way so that the energy and information can come through my words and support the person, the individual who's asking the question but also the group as a whole. And the group as a whole is really impactful and, and important. Uh, this is actually new. I've done groups in the past where everybody gets to ask a question. And so, um, but what I've, and that has been wonderful <laughs> and profound. This is more picking a topic and uh, digging in, diving into that topic to support all of our growth. I learn a lot in these calls and I'm still human and learning and growing with everyone. And so uh, we're all here to just honor each other, meet each other where we're at, celebrate 
all the inspiration and also um, if there's a deep challenge that someone's going through, uh, meet them with love and help bring in guidance to work through that challenge. When you, so when you're channeling, it, it seems like you're almost like listening or it's like you're reporting, like you're, your 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 demeanor shifts a little bit mm -hmm. and I'm wondering like what is happening inside of you are you hearing something are you like how do you receive the information and then how do you perceive that information like like some people who channel are like I channel this entity or I'm channeling your spirit guides like wh what is it to you and how do you perceive it yeah intuitive channeling um it's connecting and you see me when you ask that question you see i'm always looking up or i don't know i'm looking into i guess is what i would say and so you see my eyes shift um and it's a listening to a knowing versus a listening to your voice um and it's a little hard to describe, but there's, it's uh, like the words drop in. And so I feel like on some levels, when my eyes go into looking at a different direction, it's just me getting out of my way <laughs> so that the energy can come in. Um, I connect at a, in terms of the channeling that I do to a network of light and you hear the tone of my voice shift when I go into that energy, connect to a network of light that we are all a part of, that we are all aligned with our divine self uh, and bring in messages from that place of divinity uh, to support us in our kind of human form. Uh, I was talking to a friend and she was asking, about something and I realized that I talked to the guidance quite a bit um, without consciously doing it but I'm always asking the divine to um, bring it down to the human level because um, channeled information can often be so expansive that we as humans maybe don't even really totally understand it so what is useful in our human form, what is useful for this person, what is useful um, for the group energy uh, that's applicable, that's able to like transform our human self and our human life to something that's more uh, rich and something that can move us through challenges that can inspire us, whatever, whatever is happening. So I'm, I'm always talking back, but it's not a, like you and I talking back and forth takes time. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of a bit timeless. It's, it's a quick talking back and forth uh, that I think is a, a little bit wor wordless. So as, as hard as it is to explain what I do, that's about as good as I get. <laughs> with the explanation does that make sense and you look beautiful always but now there's this radiant light <laughs> on the other side of you that's so wonderful anyway okay I, I was going to shift to the camera so that so that it, oh no don't shift it's like this whole other layer of storytelling that's going yeah. on yeah oh, yeah you love it you're talking about connecting in with like the light network and I'm like yeah oh. that's exactly <laughs> it yeah yeah so it is very connected as we can see visibly okay. more and more every day yeah um I think a practical question is who who should be on these calls like who who wants to participate in this group gosh I would say anyone who wants to have a more aware more conscious uh life that I would call the awake life um 
anyone who's dealing with deep challenges and maybe not knowing that they are divine, um, who has some knowing to some degree, but wants to expand that, or if you don't know it at all, I feel like uh, that's a place to start uh, ultimately. Uh, and those who are people who have done their divine work and um, fellow healers, um, anyone who's doing work, we can always learn from each other. And I learned from so many beautiful people doing their work here on this planet. So um, yeah, any, anyone. So anyone, I guess, is the answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those who are welcome are those who are in a space to hold love and honor each other mm -hmm. in a space of love. Anyone else that might come for any other reason, we just ask for light to surround them and send them on their way. Uh, we are here to be in a space of honoring acceptance and love. Is there anything else that you want to touch on that we have? Oh, that was one thing I just wanted to ask you before we go. Yeah. Um, you've been on my groups before um, and you shared a little about how they've helped you, uh, but I would just ask, how do the groups help you? And, uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, how do the groups help you? For much of my life, I have been living from a place of like survival, I think. And um, as opposed to thriving and, and have felt this like hunger for a connection with divinity and with like what feels like a, a truth for me that I, I've looked for in different religious communities, I've looked for in different relationships and friendships and um, that, but that like, I have experienced something uh, in these groups with you that it's like, I feel a reconnection to myself and um, And to like a, a self in me that's like my like really who I am and and um, and who I want to be and um, but like who I am at my core but like I forgot <laughs> you know it's like I came in not maybe I it's like I came in not knowing and so um, so I feel like the calls have been helpful in really practical ways of like, like I think because you are so embodied in this like, um, just like living according to like this, this, I, this, uh, this sounds like such vague language, but like this like true resonance with yourself and with um, um, like being very, kind and loving and connected and vulnerable and strong um, in your life that that like people come to the phone calls with all sorts of like practical issues but like I think really what we're coming for is is a mirror to to be like is it okay <laughs> like am I is it okay to like just be like joyful and seek a connection with spirit or God or earth or whatever it is that we like identify with as like being at our core and um, and then and you embody that for yourself and then and then uh, you mirror it and so it's it's hard to not be oneself around you um again not because you're like saying this is the way for it to be but just because you are so embodied um 
And so like what I've gotten out of the calls is, is like this deep healing, like this healing of shame around who I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to be. And um, uh, like this coaching and cheerleading around um, how to continually move towards alignment with how I want to be in my life and on this planet and with each other. I just bring in divinity and meet people where they're at uh, in a space of profound love that comes, you know, from me personally, but also from the limitless ocean of love that is our truth that um, wonderfully I have become aware of and want to share with as many people as could possibly benefit from a limitless ocean of love.